Take a walk around Princeton, you will find it is nearly impossible not to see a picture or a reference to Albert Einstein, the town's most famous resident, maybe the greatest mind of the 20th century. He worked at the Institute for Advanced Study. And some 80 years after he helped found the Institute, we found his legacy still casts a shadow. Every new faculty member at the Institute for Advanced Study must sign the official register. And as soon as you open it up, first name, very first name on the page is Albert Einstein. That's the Institute's version of no pressure, right? For some people, it's something that they're, that it, it's, it's a highlight of their time here. And for other people, it's a duty that they have to go and sign. There are reminders of the man everywhere. The globe in this picture stands at one of their library entrances. His glasses, his clock, even his miniature violin. His shadow is a long one here. When I talk to people about where I work, Usually the first thing they say is, oh, isn't that where Einstein used to work? Indeed, Einstein helped cement the Institute as an academic haven long after his famous equation. He felt that you know, this should never be kind of a memorial to him. Uh, you know, somebody should work in his office. Somebody should live in his house. Um, there shouldn't be a big uh, monument. And for the most part, there isn't. This bust is about the closest thing you'll get, and a picture or two. You know, usually you do like this and you say, wait a moment, you know, how would you continue that picture? You wouldn't actually. <laughs> the road to the Institute has long been named Einstein Drive. He spent the last 20 years of his life here, all that time unsuccessfully trying to find a unified field theory. He was doing calculations on his deathbed at the Princeton Hospital. This is a look at his last equation as he tried to unravel the secrets of the universe to the very end. In some sense, his ideas were more powerful than his mathematics. I think the whole institute and the whole spirit and atmosphere here is kind of celebrating him and, and, and in some sense in his memory. Uh, next year the institute will be celebrating the 100th anniversary of Einstein's theory of relativity. Tomorrow we're going to wrap up our visit to the smartest place in the world with the answers that they're finding to one of the greatest questions that mankind faces. But I mean, can you imagine the pressure? You've been invited to study